classy, and I love that dress. That's oh, great. Thanks. And and you're married now. I am married. And how's now. that going? It's going very well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, it started a little rocky <laughs> in the beginning, uh, but uh, that's oh, Josh, there right? he is. There's yeah. my guy. Yeah. Now, why was um, it uh, rocky? You know what? I think well, uh, several reasons. <laughs> it, marriage is hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we had never lived together before oh, we got really? married. I was sort of desperately clinging to my independence just for a little longer. I, I'm kind of obnoxious about how I like to live. I am very specific about how I like things, where I like things, mm -hmm. and uh, then we started living together because so we you're had neat to. and he's messy. Yes. Uh huh. That's what you're saying. Yes. And it's little things. It's just the little things, but they can drive you bananas. They can. So, they can. Yeah. Like what little things? Well, with him, um, the other day, the poor guy, I'm always just killing him. But anyway, he's, he's wonderful most of the time. But the other day, you know, in the master bathroom, the, the trash can was full. And I mean, we're both using it. We both look at it every day and right. put our Kleenexes in it and our uh -huh. trash in it. And right. so what I don't understand is if you're looking at it and I'm looking at it, why don't you help and take it out sometimes? Right. Yes. You know, because I, I do it 90% of the time. Like, right. Hey, throw me a bone. Yeah, just 10%. <laughs> take the trash once out. In a while. All but right. it's so ridiculous, isn't it? But that, it's such a cliche, but that is it. Taking the trash. Those little well, things. Yeah. All right, so let's get to the big announcement, because I know what it yes. is, and I'm so excited for you. <laughs> tell everybody what you came here to, to tell I people. I did. It's so exciting for me to do this with you, because I love you, and this is such an important thing in our lives, and obviously our marriage is going well enough, because we are adopting a baby from Korea. <laughs> Korea right now. How old is the baby? She's, it's a little girl, and she's, um, she'll be 10 months at the end of this month. She was actually born the day before me in November, which I thought was really serendipitous and yeah. just kind of like a sign. And then I realized just recently I basically forfeited my birthday for the rest of my life. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> which is not For cool. her to you. Well, Wait, so when did, when <laughs> no did you meet her? Mine. How long ago, and when did we, you start thinking about this? We started, we started talking about adoption even before we were engaged, because mm -hmm. it's really important to me. It's been a big part of my life and my family. My sister is Korean, and um, my parents adopted her back in the 70s. And so I just always knew that that was something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and I made that really clear because not everybody's down with that. Not yeah. everybody, you know, thinks that. Do you right, know what I right. mean? And I just wanted to make sure that I was marrying a guy or into a guy who understood that that mm -hmm. was going to have to happen. Right. <laughs> um, and so about a year ago is when we started going, okay, let's start the process. And the process is intense, but it's different, but it isn't. Do you know what I mean? It's just as intense, I'm sure, and to have a baby biologically because you're going through the whole physical sort of thing well, of it with but well, this but there's, is, there's lots of I mean yeah. I know a little bit about that there's a lot of questions they yeah. make you answer we had to fill out a pamphlet that was about you know 40 pages super super detailed what kind of you know people we were how we expected to raise the baby what kind of parenting ideas do we have how were we raised what would we do the same and what would we do differently and it was funny because I think everyone should fill that out I, do I, too. I think that every single I really person do too. Should fill I that really out. do too these are very valid yeah. questions it's you a know? baby. It's a baby. Yeah. You should probably have some idea. And it's funny yeah. because you don't, you kind of don't even, you think about some of these things, you talk about some of these things, but you don't get really into the mix of it until right. you're looking at these questions going, oh my God, we better answer these right, otherwise they won't give us the baby. Right. And the baby is in Korea right now. She is. And when did you see her? How, you met her, I assume. We have not met her yet. You haven't no, met her. No, and that's, that's partly why did they send I'm, a picture? I'm here talking about this. Yes, they sent us a picture. They told us that it was a little girl and who she was and, and the information about Oh God, like six months ago, and it was meant to take a long time. You know, this, this sort of thing can take years. But um, her name is Naylee. She's, uh, well, I'm naming her after my mother and my sister, Nancy Lee. So we call her Naylee. I just dropped that one. Anyway, I'm <laughs> sure that's fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, we have to meet her first. We, we assume it's an Naylee. But uh, she um, has special needs. She's a special needs baby. And because of that, it we all moved so much faster. You know, they wanted to get her to us as quickly as possible. And um, so she's coming real soon. Really, very like, real, soon. real soon. Which is why I wanted to tell everybody so you don't think I stole a Korean baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, thing you filled that out already. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and so are they, uh, are you going there to get her? Is she coming here? We, this was the whole sort of complicated thing because I wanted to, I actually wanted to go to Korea to get her and I wanted to bring my sister because she's never been back since she left 34 mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. Um, and then she went and got pregnant. 
so she couldn't fly anymore, uh -huh. no. And she was, you know, sort of like, yeah, we'll do it next time. And I was like, but this was going to be a big <laughs> moment for all of us. Okay. Uh, and then it turned, you know, as the more we thought about it, the more crazy it was to try to attempt it because, you know, a week ago I went rug shopping and there were 50 paparazzi and I just thought, this will traumatize her and I don't want to traumatize her no. right out the gate. Yeah. I and mean, she will, there's plenty of time for that. Right, so. right. <laughs> So much time to mess yeah. her up. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that that is what what is really sad about uh, you know people that are in the spotlight that have kids because you know it's it's not fair to the child because they just are like what they yeah. have no idea why that's happening. And it's and scary. It can be chased. really intimidating. Yeah. And, um, sometimes and you can't see like your feet in front of you because it's so so many flashes and that sort of thing. And I just thought it's one thing to take me on and I made a, a choice, so right, I have right. to live with the consequences yeah. of that choice. But I don't don't take my kid on. Well, hopefully they'll. Leave you alone, and, and yeah. uh, but we got you a um, one one thing we got you is uh, Ellen Onesie to, so she can put that on. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Right. <laughs> and oh, I'm glad you brought this up. I was going to tell you about the paparazzi can be really, really relentless. So what we we got this is we, we modified. <laughs> Decoy, baby. We got uh, well, you can do that too. But we got <laughs> this to put the the baby can actually. We, we actually put this together so that you can actually put the baby hoodie on and a wig, and they'll never recognize her. Yay. Or you can use a decoy baby. We'll just use her as right. a decoy. Just use her. She doesn't look very Korean, though. No, not, well, not right now, but we can fix that. All right. Grey's Anatomy premieres Thursday, September 24th at 9 o'clock on ABC. We'll be right back. Don't go away.